good morning good afternoon it's all depend of where you are watching us it's me your sister blessing in our program let's talk it all this program is for all of you in this program we talk about everything we talk about teenager we give teenager advice we talk about parents how we're going to live the life according to the bible according how god wants us to live the life we talk about everything we talk about we advise woman as a woman how you can cook also we talk about we talk about everything food if you want to learn how to cook we talk about it we talk about as a woman how can you lose weight if you want to look good to lose weight we also talk about that we talk about her if you want to do your hair uh, to apply the makeup to look natural we talk about there's a lot of things we talk about children children how can you obey to your parents we talk about abuse we talk about everything that happened to our society today we talk about everything so feel free if you have like something you want us to talk about it please feel free to inbox us to send us a message then we'll talk about anything you want us to talk if you have question if you have like something you want us to answer feel free to send us a message to our facebook thank you so much and today we're going to our program the theme of today is you must love and obey to your parents all of us we need to love our parents we need to obey to our parents because if today you are leaving it's not because of yourself because of two people because of your dad and your mother and through God, God choosing those two so that you today, you can come to this world. So no matter what, you need to love your parents. You need to obey them. We see in our society today, there's a lot of things that happen. Children, they don't like to obey to their parents. We see uh, a lot. If we go, example, like we go out, we see the way our young kids today, the way they talk to the mother is very, very sad. So it's very important to love your parents and obey your parents. No matter how they are, you need to love them. You need to obey them. It's very important as a child of God, as a, a child to the parents, you need to do it you need to do it you need to do it and i want to say this to you the choice that we make today in life he determines what are you going to become tomorrow what we because even myself i'm inside of it so we need to make good choice when you choose to do something or when you choose something you need to choose very well and then you need to think think twice before you make a choice no not just rush go and make a choice which you're going to regret tomorrow you need to think think very very well before you make choice according according in life through through the word of god god puts in front of us life and death but because of the love of god god say to us we need to choose life he put the two things in front of us but he said i put life and the other hand i put death but it's all depend of you to choose but he's telling us to choose life so what are you going to choose? Are you going to choose life? Or are you going to choose death? It's all depend of you. 
and because of his love he he also want us to choose he wants you to choose to make a good choice but in all those choice if you are you want him to come involved inside your choice he's ready to come but if you don't want him to be involved he's not going to come it's just like as a mother when your child he wants for example like your child wants to eat something if he's not telling you mom i want to eat this certain food how are you going to know but when a child come to you oh mom i want to eat for example i want to eat chicken i want to eat this oh mom can you please give me a pocket money then you know like oh my kid want this then you can go and prepare it for the child or give the money to the child but if he doesn't if it didn't come to you you don't you don't know it's the same way to god if you want god to involve inside your business when you're making choice you need to involve god inside if we involve him inside the choice that you make is going to be good because god he loved all of us he gave us a choice to make for example the lady that you have in your house it's not God who chooses it for you. You choose your wife yourself. You choose your husband yourself. Like even me. Today the man I have. My husband. I choose my husband. My husband also choose me. So it's the same way to you. The friend that you have. You choose your friend. It's not like God came and posed you or give you friends. He said, like, oh, you need to be with this person. No. It's you who choose your friend yourself. You choose your friend. You choose the school you want to go to. You choose, there's a lot of things. You choose what you want to wear. Like the way I'm wearing now, it's not like God who say to me, blessing, you need to wear exactly what you are wearing. No. I made a choice. I said, like, oh, I need to do the hair the way I'm doing. It's me. I want to wear, oh, I need to wear, like, a, um, a red shirt, a black trousers. Oh, I need to wear what? It's me. It's not God who tell me, like, to wear the way I'm wearing. So, you need to choose good. Because all the choice that you're choosing... He's going to come back to you tomorrow. He's going to hit you back tomorrow. If you choose good, you're going to be rejoiceful. If you choose bad, you're going to cry tomorrow. Why? Because you choose bad. That's why you need to choose good. When you're choosing something, you need to choose good. But we need to remember also, there's an other way or there's the other such of things in the other way God doesn't want us to choose sometimes God imposes to us the choice he puts it to us by force we need to do it you need to you need to you need to obey God we need to do it because if you don't do that you're going to make a set of mistakes in life. Because if you will see today, people are crying. Why? Because they made a bad choice. We see like a marriage, people are getting divorced. There are a lot of divorce. There's a lot of things happening. People say like, oh, if I knew, maybe I could not marry that, that man. If I knew, maybe that wife, she was not the right one for me. If I knew why I was working with this friend, look the way I'm working with this friend all my life, it be rude. People are crying because we are human beings. If we don't involve God inside, we're still going to be making mistakes. So you need to think well before you make any set of choice in life 
because if you make a bad choice you're putting your life in danger because this we see like uh, for example like man's they kills the wife we cannot say like oh it's god who wanted that man to kill the wife no or maybe because the lady before he entered to the married he didn't think he didn't ask god he didn't get god to get involved how can you love somebody today and then tomorrow you say like oh if i knew she was not the right one for me oh how can you love a man yesterday you was loving this man you said like oh he's my darling he's my sweetheart if i don't see you i cannot sleep you say all those set of words and then tomorrow that man he become like an evil in front of your eyes why maybe because you didn't choose well maybe because you didn't choose well you need to choose well choose well make the right choice choose the right people choose the right friends to work with if you don't choose the right friends you will live the lo- the life of miserable because those people that you call friends maybe you don't know maybe they are your enemy those people you call friends you don't know when you are not there what kind of thing they talk behind your back those people they call friends maybe when when you come you talk to them when you give your back they're stabbing you in your back you need to make the right choice choose good friends choose good people choose choose very well choose well choose what you want to do in the good way in the good way in the good way and no matter what before you make any choice you need to pray for it you need to ask god to assist you because if god choose for you he will never gonna choose for you any bad choice if god choose for you the choice that god gonna choose for you is going to be good because he is god he know the plan of your life because the bible said he know the plan that he have for you he have the plan of good of peaceful to give you good future so no matter what he will never choose something bad for you that's why we need to put god first that's why we need to allow god to come inside for everything that we do if we are putting god inside everything that you're going to do is going to be very easy it's going to be okay but if you are rejecting god you just want to make your own choice say like oh it's me i don't want to involve god inside i don't want to do this i don't want to do that it's up to you but remember if tomorrow you went bad are you going to go and start crying to god father why did you do this to me why did you forsake me why did you leave me in this situation no it's not god it's yourself it's yourself because it's already put everything in front of you you yourself you need to choose you need to choose what you really want when we choose friend god it doesn't choose friend for us when you choose the clothes you want to wear it doesn't choose for us you choose your university you choose your career you choose your your environment where you want to live god doesn't choose it for us it gave you the choice to choose it by yourself he gave you the choice to choose it by yourself i want to talk about some choice that's all only your creator can impose it to you we already see like god give us opportunity to make choice 
he gave you he said you choose death or choose life it's all depend of you but hey i want to i want to show it to you there's other in the other angle what there's such a choice that you are not allowed to choose by yourself but it's god who imposes it to you like it or not it's god who imposes it to you god put it there for you he has already made the choice for you he's already made the choice god choose for you your complexion your skin color he didn't ask you do you want to you do you want to be born a white or a black or a red or whatever no the skin color that you have is god who chose it for you and you know the reason why he created you just the way you are he know it he creates it you because of one purpose about one something he chose it for you your height because some people for example like me if god could give me opportunity to, to choose myself our height i want there's a lot of us we're going to say like oh god please add me some inch but he choose it for you he choose for you he make you like a taller he make you like short because of such of reason god choose for you your gender to be a female or to be a man man it's not because you choose it it's not because i choose to be a lady no it's god created me he chose me he chose me because he know the reason why he wanted me to be a woman and i'm very happy about it it's not like today we see like a, a lot of people like a man he want to you want to become a lady or we see like a lady they're turning themselves to be like a lesbian that is not what god created you to be if god created you to be a man a female is for a purpose is for a reason in he knows the reason why he created you man or he created you a woman and also your siblings your siblings it's not you you didn't choose like who your sister going to be or who's my brother going to be we see like when we choose our friends you make your own choice oh i want my friend to be like uh, for example like an english oh i want my friend to be like indian oh i want my friend to look a little bit taller because me i'm short when i'm working with her i feel like secure yes but when it come to your sisters your brothers god and was it to you god gave it to you he gave it to you your siblings and the man one the man one god imposed you this is the big because this is the main topic that we are talking today the end of all god imposed it to you and he gave you the parents that you have he gave it to you, your mothers he gave it to you, your brothers as a mom i realize i realize how much mother sacrificed for the children mother sacrificed a lot for the children we always want our children to be okay we buy expensive clothes to our children we send our children to better education school we pay money we sacrifice a lot for them we give them everything that 
they want. We want them to live the great life. You wake up in the morning, you go and drop them in school. And later on 3.30, you go quickly to pick them in school. You take them to sh you take them out, you take them to shopping, you go with them to the park, you cook for them. Sometimes you don't even have time for yourself to do everything that you, you was doing before. You sacrifice your life because of those children. And it's just a shame. It's just a shame. Because the way you are doing it today is the same way your parent they was doing it for you. But today, we see like a lot of people, they call their parents a witch. How dare you? Somebody who gave birth to you. Somebody who carry you inside a belly for nine months. He bring you in this world. She breastfeed you. She give you food. She dress you. Today, you are 19, 20, 25. You, all, you become a mother. And then you call your woman, you call your mother a witch. I think you need to wake up and think. If that lady was a witch, or if your father was a witch, how come those people, they didn't kill you even before you was born? Even when you was like one years old, two, three, four, five, how can they leave you up to today? And then you say like, oh, my mother, they are witch. My father, they are witch. No. No. Like, I'm going to give you like an example. There was one video I was watching in YouTube. And this video, there was like one woman, a mother who gave a birth to a little boy. And then one day, this mother left the baby inside the house. She went to the farm. When she went to the farm, she left the baby. The baby was sleeping. In her way back home, there was a lot of people surrounding her house. In the village, all those people, they were surrounding her house. They were screaming. They were screaming. She came quickly. What's going on? That's my house. And then she found out her house was in fire. This woman, she didn't even care about her own life. But she ran quickly inside the house to serve her son. She carried a son, and because of all the fire, she burned her skin. But it was very, very sad story. And this boy, the woman paid the school fees. She dressed the boy. She do everything for the boy. The boys grow up, and then he was a big man. The boy, he was a big man. He had a good job. He started driving Porsche car. There was one day, this boy, he made a party. When he made a party, her man, his mother come to the party. When he knocked the door, knock, 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 knock. And then he, the man, comes out. His servants come out. And then he look the way the woman was look. He asked the woman, who are you looking for? The woman said, like, oh, I'm a, I'm a, a mother to your boss. And the servant went 
to call the boss. When the boss came, this boy, which the mother suffered, the mother burned her skin because of him. The boys didn't want the mother. He didn't allow the mother to come inside the party because he was embarrassed of the way the mother was look. He was very embarrassed. But he forgot the mother's the way she looks, it was because she risked a life to serve him. That's why she burned her skin. But this boy, he didn't even care. It's very, very sad. Maybe that's the same way you also do it to your parents. It can be different way. In different way. Maybe you make your parents cry. Maybe you don't treat them well. You cause them name. Maybe you ashamed for your parents. Maybe you say like, oh, if I knew, maybe this woman or this man, they could not be my parents. But you are making a big, big mistake. I'm taking to Bible. Let us read one verse quickly. One verse in uh, Ephesians 6 verse, verse 1 to 2. Here the Bible say to us, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. This is right. Honor your father and mother which is the first commandment we've promised and then verse 3 that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth wow that's amazing that's amazing he is god who say to us children we need to obey to our parents Obey to your parents. If you want to live long, if you want to have long life, you need to obey to your parents. If you are not obey to your parents, you are not going to live long life. Because that's what the Bible says. It says to us, it's very clear. We need to respect our fathers, our mothers. We need to love them. No matter how they're going to be. Even your father is short. Your father is tall. There's nothing he's going to change him not to be your parents. Is your parents. Through them you come in this world. God choosing them. Remember it's not you who choose them. It's God who choose them for you. Maybe if them there was not there. Maybe you cannot even be there. Or. If they wanted to kill you, they can, your mother can even do abortion to remove you. But she left you. She gave birth to you. Why can you not obey your parents? Why can you not obey your mothers, your fathers? Why? why god said it when you obey them you're going to fulfill all the promise that god prepared for you in this world we're going to see we're going to read the definition definition of obey it means submit to the authority so we need to submit to our mothers, to authority, to people who is above you. You need to submit to them. Do you submit to your mothers? Do you love your mothers? Do you love your father? Do you obey to your mother? Do you obey to your father? Or you are 
the one through you your mother always cry if i knew if i knew i could even do abortion if i knew your mother always cry it's not nice it's not nice how can you live long on this earth if you are making your mother to cry every time because of you you're not going to live long you're not going to live long and it's not nice in the eyes of god we need to obey our mothers we need to love them we need to support them we need to support them yes you can help your sibling is the choice that you make i can help my sister i cannot help them if i have i can give it to them i can help i can help my friends my husband my sister law other people if i have i can help them you can help your sibling your friends but when it come to your mothers your father your parents is not help you must that's what the bible say you must because you own them you must treat them well good you must obey them you must support them helping them financial with your money you need to give them you need to help them if they don't leave the same place where you are living you need to go and visit them write them a card call them know how they doing not just be like oh those old people i me i'm sick and tired and if you will see like the in the country that where we are living when your mother become old you go and dump them to one home because you don't want to look after them you don't care like i met one mother next to me i cried i felt cried i cried i felt very very pain inside my heart I met this Congolese woman on the streets because when I saw her, she was struggling in the shop. She was buying something, but she was struggling. She doesn't know what to buy. She was confused. Then I came and said to her, "Mom, do you want me to help you?" She said, "Like, oh, my daughter, do you speak Lingala?" I said, "Yes." She said, "Oh, I'm looking for those kind of people who speak Lingala." Then I ask her, do you have, you don't have like any family? You don't have like any children? She said to me, it's very sad story. It's my own daughter who will bring me in this country. But sometimes I ask myself, is this daughter bring me in this country to kill me? She said, she bring me here and then she dump me in one home. She doesn't, she doesn't come to see me. She doesn't even bother to come and visit me. I don't have anybody. I'm struggling. I feel so bad. I just saw her like my own mothers. I said to her, oh, it's okay, don't worry. So me and my husband will help her. We go to Tesco, we buy her food. We went where she was living. We dropped the food to her. She was very excited. She said, please, my daughter, don't leave me because I'm just alone. I need somebody. And this woman, the only things that make me even cry more. She said, like, her daughter, she's pastor somewhere. Her daughter, she's the woman of God. She go and pray for other people. She go and preach. I don't know what kind of preach she also she preach people. I don't know if she will tell people, oh, you need to obey to your parents. I don't know. 
I don't know what she tell others to love. I don't know if I preach is about hating or about love. Because if she talk to people about love, herself she doesn't love her own mother. The mother who carry you nine months inside the belly. That's so sad. It's very sad. That's very, very bad. We need to love our mothers. No matter what. No matter the way they look. You need to love them. You need to love them. Some people, they call, like you see, like a young, a young kids on the, on, on the street, they call a mother, oh, look at that old. That old fat. Old woman. How can you call your, your, your mother old fat woman? Do you know even before she gave birth to you, maybe she was not in that size. Size. Maybe the body size that she are now because of you. Before maybe she was wearing size 12, size 14. When she gave birth to you, she start wearing 16, 18. And then you call her the fat woman. Be careful. Don't, don't cause curse to yourself. Don't cause curse to yourself. You need to love your mothers. You need to help them. You need to go to visit your mothers. Love them. It's very, it's, it's not a big thing. It's no, it's no big deal. Just remember, whatever you are doing today to your mothers, don't be surprised if tomorrow your own children, they will do that to you. Because what, what comes, what goes around, comes around. This life, we are running cycle, 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 cycle. Everything we do, we will pay it on this world. We are not going to pay it in heaven. No, just here. If you are not respecting your mothers, if you call your mothers witch, don't be surprised if tomorrow your own son, your own daughter, they'll start calling you witch. Don't be surprised. If you dump your mother to one care home, don't be surprised when you become a old, they're also going to dump you there. Maybe even your one is going to be worse. So, it's very important for us to know where we come from. To know to who we are coming from. The mothers, they are precious. They are valuable to us. We need to honor them. Sometimes you don't honor your mother. You are not respecting your mother. And other people, they don't even have the mothers. The mother die. And those people, they cry. They say like, oh, mom, if you was here, maybe I would do this, I would do that. And then you, you have your mother. God give you your mother. She's still alive up to now. You are neglecting them. Oh, please wake up. Wake up. I think you are sleeping. Wake up to that dream. There's a lot of people. They say like, oh, my dad, if you was here, at least me and you, we can go around. We'll talk. I will. So you're going to support me, advising me. But you leave me so soon. And then you, you have your father. You call your father a witch. Please wake up. How come that witch father, he didn't kill you when he was a child? Now you become a man, responsible man. Now you can drive a car, you have a big house, 
you think like oh yes for me is finished i'm the boss now you kill them you call that man a witch you call that woman a witch don't cause curse to yourself if you done it before you need to call your mom you need to call your dad and ask for forgiveness ask for forgiveness ask them to forgive you i said it before and i still gonna say it again remember God is the one who choose those two people for you. You didn't choose them. None of us choose parents. None of us, when he was inside before, before you, before your mother to give birth to you, you said like, "Oh no, 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 no! Please put me back. I don't want to come back because I don't want you to be my mother's." I don't know. Maybe, maybe some people, but. What I know, none of us choose mothers, choose fathers, or choose your sibling. None of us. None. None of us. You need to obey your mothers. Love your parents. It's very important love them i didn't say like if you have thousand pound give them all thousand pound no you can give them 10 pound it's it's up to you how much you want to give it to them you can give them 100 pound it's up to you but you need to support them you own them because today, if, if like all of our mothers, they say like, oh, they make a list since you was a baby. They made a list of what food they was buying for you, what food you ate, all those big fufu you was eating, what dressed when you were sick, they was carried to the hospital. They send you to school. After school, you go to university. If they give you all those bills, maybe you cannot even pay it. You cannot. So for you to give your mother even 10 pound, for you to give your father even 20 pound, you don't want to give it to them because you say they are rich, because you are scared. If I give them my money, they're going to hold my finance. You are making a huge, a huge mistake. A very fat mistake you are making. Big one. You are making a big mistake. You are making a big, big mistake. You need to honor them. Respect them. Treat them. With respect. Love them just the way they are. Just love them. They are priceless. They are your treasure that God has given to you. Love them. Love your mothers. Love them. Don't let it to the last minute. Don't let it to be too late when you say, like, if I knew I could do this. Don't wait when that woman or when that man will die, then you to buy them expensive coffering. No. You need to start supporting them today. Help them when they are still alive. Don't wait the day they're going to die. You are preparing. Oh no, I want my mother funeral to be big. I want her to, to go inside a very expensive coffin. No. 
No, 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 no. Help them. Give them even small money. Go and visit them. Sometimes they don't even want your money. They just want to hear your voice. They just want you to keep them company. They want you to talk to them. We are bound to. Where we come from, there's a lot of people, we lost it. We lost, we forgot about our cultures. We forgot our motherland. We forgot where we come from. You think you start behaving like a white because you live in Europe. You are making a very big mistake. You cannot buy a mother. You can never change your mother to another person. Yes. When I was growing up, my mother told me, all oh, mothers, they are your mothers. But remember the one who carried you nine months inside his belly. Remember her. And don't let her cry because of you. Don't let her cry. Because we see in this world, people are doing divorce. When somebody divorce, they call, oh, look at that. That's my ex, my ex-husband. Oh, look at that boy. That's my ex-boyfriend. Oh, look at that. That's my ex-friend. Oh, look at that. That's my ex. We call XXX. But remember, you will never have an ex-father or an ex-mother or an ex siblings your brother your sister your mother your father they will never be your ex even the word will change word they will never be your ex your mother is still going to be your mother your father is still going to be your father You will never leave. You will never leave or you will never have a long life if you are not obey your parents. You need to think about that. Think about it. Think about it. And do your best to help your parents. Thank you very much to watch us. It was me, your sister, Blessing. Thank you so much. I can see there's a lot of people online. I cannot call all of your name. But thank you so much. I say big thank you to my husband. Who allowed me to be in front of you today. Our prophet jean Kayembe. Thank you, Papa. Thank you so much. And also, I thank you, my sisters, Ayet Kaimbe, Miriam, our big sister Mimi. You are a lot. I can start calling names today after, after, after. There's a lot of you. So thank you so, so much. Then please continue to watch us like your page and also you need to share with others so what you are listening today other people they can also have this opportunity to listen to what they are listening maybe they was making mistake they didn't know maybe they will learn about what i spoke to you or about what you also learn thank you so much I'll see you again next time. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.